That's a good pass. Pretty. Doesn't connect though. Poku. A little bit of room by Mayer. Still a Poku gets the shot. Oh, he opens the account for the game again. Nathan a Poku. His 11th goal of the season. And giving Syracuse the 1 0 lead. Two very different looks from the strikers up top. Levante Johnson, he makes you work for it. Very direct in nature. Apoko, the exact opposite. He's got an engine, yes, but watch his feet. Gray with the back to the in college soccer on January 6th. He's a Matt Herman semifinalist as of now. 15 names announced. They'll go down to three. He's got an opportunity. Plays it through Apoko! He's got it! Two one Syracuse strikes right back! What a ball played in! And Apoko's done it all year for him! His 10th goal of the season for the third team All American. It's just bad coming out. And watch the bodies, the touch back. That's uncharacteristic by Giorgio Provo. You put your midfielder in a bad spot. Callum Watson has to track back. Players forward and don't pay attention on the break to defending. A giveaway. Here comes Baselli. Now space for Giorgio Kachevsky. Hometown kid slides it to a Poku. Of Nathan, a Poku scores! Syracuse knocks it up. Nathan Apoku's ninth goal of the season. One all, 30 minutes to go. Nathan Apoku, it won't take him three chances to score. You give him an opportunity like that in front of the net, he's going to put it away like he did there. Bring Syracuse right back into this, and good ball into, by Kachevsky to Apoku's feet. Two quick touches to get it out of his feet and snap off a shot. 1-1. One, one. Pressure dialed up a little more on keeper Holden Brown for Virginia. As Nathan Apoku, the sophomore from Ghana, leading this team in goals this season. Keep Syracuse perfect. Apoku with a bit of a drop to the ball, but he picks up momentum. Not the cleanness of strike. Ball flops into the ground a bit. But credit to him. It's that lower bottom corner. I take it back, it's actually a very good strike. On that second angle, if I hit the ground, but it's finding that bottom corner, keeping it away from the goalkeeper. It provides success. Louisville do have a couple of transfers playing significant minutes this year, but by and large, this is a roster made up of young men that went through some growing pains as freshmen. Now another opportunity. This one is put in, and it is a dream start this time for the Qs. On top, 1-0. 18 minutes into the match. And it was Nathan Opoku touching it past Ryan Troutman for his eighth goal of the season. That is just a really excellent individual play there. The effort to get the ball into the area, but Apoku making the defender miss. Really there for the Orange because of him. That matchup against Virginia was Syracuse's first loss of the season here at SU Soccer Stadium. Here's Baselli breaking between the lines to Sinclair to the front post. It's Apoku for the second. Just like that, Syracuse up 2-0. There's another play, great play by Syracuse coming in from across over to the center forward. And Apoku was right there again, like the first goal. He came out wide for the open pass, but then he tried to get into the midfield and Apoku with that great tap in past the keeper. Nathan Apoku with his sixth goal of the season for Syracuse. Coming into this contest, third in the ACC at points with 14. Swales on after a few minutes. Sweeney back in the sophomore. Did some damage up top. But his side has to defend a corner kick. Why? 
Swung into the near post. Takes a flick on. It's in for Syracuse's fifth. Off a couple of bodies. It doesn't matter. Syracuse up 5-1 over Loyola. Another Syracuse goal that comes off of a header. A great corner kick with perfect placement to a Poku. Or two different players. Curdy as well. Yeah, it takes a few different bounces. Curdy was challenging with... Complete silence right now at SU Soccer Stadium. The referee instructing everyone to stay back. On the line. Apoku gets one back for the Orange Lee. Syracuse finally finds the scoreboard, but it may be too little too late. Nathan Apoku with his team leading fifth goal of the season. 17 seconds left. I don't know how they do it, but Apoku prevents the shutout, and that is how you take a penalty. Tucked away into the side netting. But no celebration from the talisman because he knows that just might not be enough. Definitely that time from Syracuse. And again, another transfer, right? We've talked about Apoku, Levante Johnson, Schoberg from Wofford. Through ball and a goal! Beautifully executed! 3-0 Syracuse in the pouring down rain. Nathan Apoku makes it 3-0 Orange. Right spot, right timing, and then just a poke to finish it off. That's great. Just a stab it. The ball's coming in at pace. He didn't have to do anything. He didn't have to strike through it. Just get your foot on it. Put it toward goal. If you keep it low, it's got a good chance of going in. And he just beat Grant Howard to the spot there. Poku, one two played, ends up being broken up by Hall just momentarily though. Apoku held up Johnson. Apoku shoots, he scores. What looked like a broken play ends up being the goal that breaks the ice. One nil to Syracuse. No one willing to step in and. So close to the box, and oh, when Apoku took it, he took it well. Just under 35 minutes. Early season jitters to be expected on both sides. And right now it's the Cuse trying to break through into the box. Here's a Poku, couple of nice moves, and he buries it home. Fantastic goal. Nathan Apoku starts the party for the Orange. Having that ability to turn and keep the ball on your foot, it gets a bit of a fortunate deflection, but that's fantastic stuff. Putting it towards the net, like I said, spinning around like a top. It's almost impossible putting your body between the ball and the person and then getting a fired shot off. That's fantastic to see. Great start from Syracuse. <laughs> 